Hello, welcome to the conversation in New Central Television. This is a program where we bring you up to speed with all the political happenings on the African continent. I am Binga Aboroa. And I am Rita Omodia. Today on the conversation, we'll be looking at developments in Senegal ahead of the 2024 elections where President Marquis Sall has bowed out from the presidency race and that's got the opposition talking. Also on the programme today, we will give you an update on South Africa's Vice President Paul Mashatile's bodyguards who assaulted a motorist on the highway. They will be probed. And it was talk, a serious issue yesterday. Yeah, talk I about mean. the power of social media. Very but, swift uh, mm -hmm. justice. Imagine uh, if it hadn't uh, been uh, caught on camera. Yeah. Definitely would have just gone unnoticed, but due to the fact that it was caught on camera, we're seeing at least a probing commencing, and you've seen a lot of people talking about police brutality. I mean, what would make you do that to a motorist? I don't see any justification. What makes police brutality such a thing uh, in different parts of the world? I think it's the, the par. West. I think it's the okay. par. The fact that, you know, you can well, you own carry this... a gun, you yeah. have a uniform, you think you're more powerful than yeah or superior to the others men. yes yeah, I, and so that's why so. most times people talk about restructuring psychological training and mm. uh, the fact that you have that part doesn't mean you should abuse it and that's why there should be checks and balances to make sure that these officers do not abuse that power meanwhile in senegal we're seeing what's happening oh, with Marcus yes, and i'm sure it came to you as a pleasant surprise why very would it pleasant come to <laughs> surprise because everybody thought you know power is Good power mm -hmm. is sweet and power is addictive. So everybody thought Marcus was definitely going to be. But you know, but you know, our oh, guest never actually said, or he never actually said, he, he never said that so. he was going but to. But why did he delay? Why the? It was uh, testing uh, the waters. And then the, his uh, opposition to uh, Usman Sonko, Sonko and yeah. all of that. But it's interesting to see uh, this sort of things happening. So it serves as a lesson uh, to the guys in Uganda and Rwanda. Ivory Coast. Uh, Ivory Coast, and also President Paul Beer, yeah. our neighbours to the east, who's been there for 40 years. We wish him long life and prosperity. Yeah. Wow. What? <laughs> really long life and prosperity. Okay, I don't know what to say to that. Off in Senegal, where President Macky Sall has announced that he will not be seeking a third term in the upcoming elections, effectively putting an end to the uncertainty surrounding his political future. This decision comes after recent opposition protest, which turned violent and resulted in casualties. One of the prominent opposition leaders, Usman Sonko, had previously called before the demonstrations across the country if President Sal had indicated his intention to run for re-election in February next year. During a live speech broadcasted on his official Facebook page, Sal emphasized that despite being elected, for his second term in 2019, the Senegalese constitution would have allowed him to run for another term. However, he opted against doing so. Additionally, Saul urged the government to take all necessary measures to ensure a transparent election process in February. And join us with this all-important conversation. We have Dr. Basin Pape Sheriff Bertrand, is a lecturer at University Cheikh Anta Diop. And we also have Alessandre Ba, a Pan-Africanist. Uh, both join us from Dakar, Senegal. Gentlemen, welcome to the conversation. Thank you for having us. Wonderful. And I'm going to give it to you, Dr. Bertrand. I mean, we're seeing lots of reactions to all of this, and one of that is from opposition politicians. And they have said that Senegalese President Marcus Sall's announcement uh, that he will not be a candidate in the 2024 presidential election uh, resulted from pressure from the people, that that is the reason why he has opted mm. out. So what were the key factors that led to Kim declaring his intention not to run for a second term? And did it really come as a surprise to you when he made a such declaration? Um, I would be surprised if you know, it was done, what was happening you know, uh, during the Osman Songo trial. People uh, came out demonstrated very strongly during that demonstration we have two messages one was he has no right to be a candidate the second one is to free usman songo so now we have seen that was a brutality there was you know who has been killed so the diaspora has decided to be the ambassadors of senegalese the international criminal count. And there was a pressure to show that Makisal was, you know, 
uh, a failure. He stayed, you know, or he stayed as a candidate for the election. So I have to take into account that Pakistan decided, you know, uh, refuse to run for the coming election, which is not still clear because of what happened. Left that happened during the demonstration, and because of the Senegalese ambassadors, I mean the diaspora, who played a great role by telling the international community that Macky Sall deserved to be pursued internationally. So the image of Senegal was collapsing. Hmm. That the main factor for me him to stop what he wanted, but. Senegalese are not still believing that it's finished yet. Because we have seen a president like the president of uh, Divoire, Ivory Coast, uh, Watara, say that he's not going to run. At the end, he came back with, you know, with can, what kind of subterfuge to candidate and win the election in Ivory Coast. Nothing is not yet set, you know, nothing is not clear yet. Mm. Mm. We have a diplomatic burst. We have a diplomatic burst for the time being. This is for the international community. Inside Senegal, an already old set don't believe that it will resign so quickly. Something may happen next days to come. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Bassan. Uh, now, um, Alassane, uh, Dr. Bassan just said, you know, it might not be over yet. And he did talk about the example of uh, Alassane Ouattara in uh, neighboring Ivory Coast. And we also saw uh, Yaya Jame in the Gambia. He did say, you know, I admit I lost this election. I recognize uh, that uh, President uh, Jamal Barrow, uh, President Barrow as uh, the president. And then a few days later, he changed his mind. So uh, it's not over here. But let's talk about this cloud that has been hanging over Senegalese politics. How did the years of uncertainty over President Macky Sall's political future contribute to the uh, opposition protests that occurred in Senegal recently and also the overall uh, political climate in Senegal? Okay, well, uh, but uh, clearly we have to understand that firstly, uh, the reaction of the president, Macky Sall, it is a very uh, something that we can uh, uh, encourage. Uh, so, uh, in, in having uh, the, the, the the courage to say, I will not be again uh, to the third, uh, third term, it is something that everybody must uh, uh, say. It is uh, very good and must appreciate. I mean, uh, but uh, meaning that it is not very clear because uh, the president of Ivory Coast to, to do, do, did the same uh, and Barrow did the same. Uh, I think that is not things that we can uh, we can think about because uh, when we're looking at the procession of uh, Macky Sall, okay, uh, the opposition was uh, behind and telling what he aimed to do. He wanted to do the third, the third mandat. I mean, the third term. And uh, uh, at least it was not the case. I mean, uh, knowing exactly the psychology of, uh, of the certain uh, Senegalese people, and I think he is part of our community, and uh, being part of our community and having the ability of the, the, the giving uh, his stories, I think not will be back in we will do again. And uh, I will is a big example uh, if you it because um, I mean, it is a big example of all the, uh, all the African, African, uh, African dance, okay. Now, Alison, from what you're saying, I mean, it, you're, you're saying it's quite encouraging that uh, Marky Sol will make such statements. And we're going to come back to the discussion. Now, I want to get Dr. Bertrand's position in all of this, uh, looking at the historical context. I mean, we saw the predecessor and former mentor, Abdullah, uh, who also sought a controversial third term. We saw the violent protest that erupted as a result of this. Earlier on, you said that it's not over yet. Nothing is settled yet, even though he has mentioned or made a statement that he would not contest for a third term. Uh, what would happen to the political climate and what are the implications of a statement? How significant is it uh, in Senegal, looking at the political terrain? Oh, yes. Okay. As, I, yeah. as I said, 
Senegalese are not reassured yet. It'll be clear. His message to the nation said that he still have, so he has decided not to present himself. Not because the Constitution won't allow him to do so. He's sure that if he was a candidate, if he will be a candidate, he will be accepted by the Constitution. However, it's a personal decision. So for those who believe that, he has to follow the Constitution. He's not accepting that the Constitution won't allow him. Oh. So if the Constitution allow him to be a candidate, what would happen tomorrow exactly. if there is a kind of complex, if there is tomorrow there is a complex situation in Senegal and there is a turmoil, for example, maybe he will say that oh there is a turmoil in Senegal, the constitution allow me to be a president, so I have the full power to candidate. This is a possibility. Because he's not saying the law the law forbid me to be a candidate. Oh, he's not saying that. He's saying it's my own decision because of the turmoil. That's why I have decided not to be a candidate. So let's say that if tomorrow there is real, real if tomorrow there is real you no know, situation or turmoil in Senegal, it will present some the Senegalese as someone and solve the Dr. situation. Veteran, sorry to interrupt. What exactly are the positions that he's saying that the constitution allows him to uh, contest for a third term? What exactly is the statement? I remember saying here that because of the referendum we had in 2019, he asked the Constitution whether he can apply his running you know, term with the new Constitution. But the Constitutional Court told him, no, you cannot do it. You're going to have a new term of five years, mm. which means that you will be having the possibility to run again. So for him, that's still valid. Mm. But the reason why he refused to run the next time is because there are politicians who are contesting, you know, the situation here. But he's not accepting the fact that it's because of Monsanto. So what is underlining here is that because there is opposition leaders who are here, instead of accepting to be that and accept the law, calling people to demonstrate so to calm the situation i will tell you something which i have the right to do so by my own personal decision not to run so i would like to survive hypothesis i would like now the other guy follow the rule mm. to follow the, the law to be jailed if he wants so if you jail some people, if he does decide to jail some people, because in his message to the nation he said that i will make the law be applied the law that he wants to be applied was against Sanko. The main reason we have a turmoil is not because him being a candidate in 2024, which is the main reason people are getting out, is mm. because Usman Sanko, people are telling him he must be a candidate. Mm. So this is a kind of trick. You know, he's always playing tricks that he's giving to Senegalese, and they are not fools. They are saying, let's pay attention. This guy is not postponing his possibility to be a candidate because of the law, because he's own willing. So which means that if tomorrow there is a turmoil in Senegal, he can still have the possibility to come back as a savior as far as the political coalition that is behind him still support him. Mm. Exactly. Uh, so uh, beyond the possibility of a turmoil, saying, you know, I have no choice yeah. about to contest for presidency, uh, you could also have people from his politics, uh, from his camp, uh, saying we want you to contest. They can even protest. They say, you know, we want you to continue the good work you've done in the last ten years. Now, let me bring Alassane into the conversation. Now that President Macky Sall has declared his intention not to run, are there potential candidates within his party that are strong enough to win the presidency and fill his shoes? Because when you look at the opposition. Uh, Wade has been disqualified from contesting. Usman Sonko, most likely uh, because of this court uh, conviction, will not be able to contest. So where does that leave uh, Senegal uh, politically? Yes, uh, let's back on, uh, give me a little back to, to back on my friend. Uh, because he said that uh, maybe 
uh, is an, his own decision, but it is not uh, it, the own decision of Macky Sall to say he will not be uh, a, a candidate to, to, the, to the next election. And, uh, and uh, it is not a problem of law, okay? Uh, but uh, all we know, uh, exactly, uh, the, the referendum in uh, 20, 2016 uh, didn't allow Macky Sall to be, uh, to be again, a, 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 a president and uh, a, 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 a candidate. candidate. Uh, yes, it didn't allow him to be a candidate by uh, the, the text that they have wrote. And uh, here, uh, it is uh, two types that people must understand. Uh, the first one is uh, when he take by his own decision to say, I will not be again a candidate, it can think, it can think some people that Marcus could do the, 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 uh, the, the can, uh, could do uh, the, uh, the uh, could be part of the election, but it is only by his own decision. Mm -hmm. no. uh, and this, yes. Uh, and this, it is something uh, that people must know also in Africa when respecting a law, okay, and having the possibility also to be part or having not possibility to be part, it is not the problem. But the, the main problem is the, uh, before coming to the before coming uh, to, 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 to the situation, he told the people that I will not be candidate so uh, okay. alasan to get you straight is not is not his decision right to make well, uh, the courts I the courts he... and the text of the constitution says he can't contest so what he just expressed is a personal opinion now moving into the second half of my question and i want you uh, to respond to this are there formidable candidates uh, within his party that can uh, fill his shoes and uh, what would happen because uh, it seems to have killed the opposition effectively uh, through lawfare. Uh, you know, uh, Usman Sonko might not contest. There's a high possibility of that because of his conviction. And also, uh, wait. But let's, let's see. Let's see what, what, what will happen. Oh. Because actually, you can say, uh, everybody believes that Maki Sal is trying to eliminate Usman Sonko because uh, at the day when we go to election, a lot of people think, okay, uh, Usman Sonko will be the, the next president, inshallah, of the, of the continent. Oh. But let's uh, do not, do not, people must understand that Usman Sonko also have a problem with justice. Okay, when you have a problem also with justice, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean it is all the uh, uh, the power. The, it is all the decision of Makisal, which is beyond of the justice of Senegal. Mm. We, okay. we can imagine that. And by the way, we can say we can say we can say he can, we can say he can try. All right. Okay, now, to, from, from, to, what, to, from what you're saying now. It we're still looking at the different <coughs> possibilities of uh, Usman Sonko's candidature. I, I want Dr. Bertrand to also respond to this because we're seeing court mm -hmm. verdicts. Uh, there's a two years mm -hmm. deal corrupting you that has been placed mm -hmm. upon Usman Sonko. So first of all, on the opposition side, uh, what's the validity of a uh, candidature for Usman Sonko? Then on the main party side for President Macky Sall, if he actually goes through the fact that he will not contest, uh, what are the other formidable candidates that we can see? Um, you know, um, real now, as a historian, if I, if I have to judge what is happening real now, it's, you know, the end of the polarization of the political field between Usman Sonko versus Mike Isa. Mm. Okay? So now, uh, the coalition against his candidacy no longer has the right to be there. You know, the coalition for the candidacy of Usman Sonko also defended the idea that we are politicizing the judicial system. We stick together act against the condemnation of Usman Sonko. Mm -hmm. For sure. If Usman Sonko won't be a candidate, you know, I'm sure I feel that this has no meaning here. People understood that, you know, this has been used against him. The issue about President Maxwell coalition is that it's like, I can give you an idea, I used to use it. So it's just like, Michael Jordan and the Lakers, he retired, number 23, no longer use, you know? But no one has the right to, to, to I mean, to, to, to take his jersey, number three, on it. Mm. Which means what? 
Makisal coalition. If there is no Makisal, there won't be no candidate for the party. The party will break down. Mm. Can you imagine that Makisal give you know, the political field? There is no political runner up and him. Come on to defend whatever have been criticized against him. Think that you will live like that, you know, the political field without a running up, of, uh, as we say, a runner up behind him who will protect his, his back. Unfortunately, he managed as an autocrat his coalition to find that he have no one who is there uh, who can be, you know, pointed out as someone who will be running for President Maxa. Mm. This is the issue why no Senegalese is believing that guy will leave the power like this. Mm. Because it means that his political party won't be here to defend him because they will lose the election. How can you imagine that a political party ruled the country for 12 years, left the power like this, knowing issue of, you know, um, mismanagement, etc., being used against them, impossible. Something Senegalese are thinking about something is going to come. And not ready yet. It's not finished. Uh, staying with you, Dr. Bertrand, uh, you seem to put a wager on the fact that, look, uh, this man is playing games and he knows what he's doing and he can't just uh, leave the scene uh, so easily and he has not anointed any candidate uh, to take his position. So what we're seeing now is a charade. But trying to get into the head of uh, President Marquis Sall, what do you think his end game is. And now that he has said he's not contesting, does it mean that, you know, the opposition uh, would have a more level playing field and we stop seeing uh, the use of courts to persecute uh, opposition candidates? Does, does it make their chances uh, better if he's not standing as a candidate? So, you know, the only, the only solution he had here, this is my own analysis, my own perspective, he, his message, I, I said, he said, I decided by my own self, not the law, because the law allow me to be a candidate. Yeah. I'm living by my own self. This is my grandeur. Mm. It's diplomatic words, okay? Mm. However, I will use the justice will be respected for my coming term, for the end of my term, I will make sure that whoever is condemned will be pursued today. Hmm. So it's directed Usman Sonko. But if the people of Usman Sonko refuse that alternative, which is to eliminate Usman Sonko, what will happen? So the country will burn down. Hmm. Asta then has an option. This, I decided to leave, I will say, because I'm the only one to bring the solution. And possibility is here. He will make possible for the one who is going to run behind him as a runner up win the election, will organize it, and make him win, like Jin mm. Medvedev. In uh, Russia, oh, yes. But, Dr. Bertrand, uh, I wonder, aside Usman Sonko, who else, again, is strong enough in the opposition? Because it seems like, just like you said, uh, the historical context is Usman Sonko and Marcus Sol. Aside Usman Sonko for the opposition, do they have someone who can be strong enough uh, if, since Marcus Sol does not want Usman Sonko as an opposition? Is there any other person for the opposition? No, 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 which is quite interesting because those who Magisal is supposed to bring back in the political field have been jailed. So for them to be, you know, contenders against the party, will be trying to, you know, allow him to do them. But they are jailed, you know, most of them. The only one we think that, you know, he has lost any credibility. I mean, he's there saying that Tonsoko must stay, he's still young, he will run in 2029. Everyone has contested him. The opposition field, no Senegalese is ready to see any possibility that Usman Sonko will run. We have to take it as a fact. Mm -hmm. We are going to burn the country if they are not following that advice. And they knew it. Any, any you know, statistic out there show that Usman Sonko is the one people are expecting to be the next president. Mm -hmm. So the opposition knew it. They are playing for that game of dialogue or dialogue in Makisal and those who hope that 
will be running and take the place of Usman Tonko. Oh. The people are not accepting it. It is a social, you know, need that politically we have to respect. Unfortunately, who knows okay. what will happen. Hmm. Thank you, Dr. Bertrand. Now, finally, Alassan, what's your outlook uh, looking ahead at the political climate uh, in Senegal before we go to the in, in the build up to the 2024 elections? Uh, but let me tell you, it is, it is not Ismail Sanko who has the public justice. Let's remember, we have also here Ayumbadu, we have also here uh, Khalifa Sal. All of them have had problems problem with justice and their elections are not actually being uh, possible to be received by the constitution. Without, uh, they go to, I mean, to the, to, to the national embassy, uh, so to uh, try to do, uh, to, to do a, a, a review, uh, I mean, the, maybe the constitution, so to, uh, to permit all of them to be part. But uh, in summary, uh, I can say, uh, uh, Africanly, uh, what, what, what I by myself believe is uh, uh, we try to, uh, to, to let all of them be part of this election because uh, actually in Africa, the action is Macky Sall. If he do, do not go to the election and he respect to what he has, what he has said, it is a good example in, in the West Africa and, and for all Africans. And also, the manipulation of the justice can be ended right now because actually, what we need to do is uh, to go ahead and in, in terms of politics, in terms of democracy, in terms of all these kind of things. Okay, uh, that I have to say. And uh, okay, now finally, Dr. Bertrand, I, I don't want to necessarily paint um, President Macky Sall in the, I like a bad shape. Uh, assessing his administration so far, even though he says he wants to come, even though people are saying let the opposition. Uh, have a breathing space. Uh, what has been your assessment looking at the growth of Senegal? Oh, um, you, you know, let, let me let me bring it like this. My sentiment that you know, Kwantongo is from the region of the south, and just like what is happening right now, there is a, 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 a no one can travel to Kasamans. You know. The population of customers has been, you know, punished because of Osman Sonko. Mm. Just like in Nigeria, I'm someone from the Biafra region. I'm sorry, this is just an example. He mm. decided one day to run for the election in Nigeria, and they take him back to the Biafra, you know, history memory. You know, just to, and then uh, decided to punish the whole region because they have a new person who has decided to be an, a Nigerian a Nigerian and to run as a Nigerian. This is what is happening. So mm. the perspective that is coming is continuing to condemn Sonko, the region as well. Senegalese will wake up. They are strengthening, strengthening, you know, um, in a kind of coalition of people regarding Kwan Sonko. And the president has to pay attention about it. The only issue here to negotiate with Usman Sonko. How, when, how, how can he do it without, you know, in losing face? You know, how to say it? Yes, losing face. But dialogue must be here. He needs, and the only contender here, the only opposition here with whom he needs to dialogue is Usman Sonko. For me, this is the issue. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Dr. Basen Pape, Sheriff Veteran, lecturer at the Sheikh uh, Anta Diop University and also Alison Bar, Pan African activist. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you both on the conversation. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you.